Hello and welcome back to another video on Digital Electronic Circuits Lab. So this is a follow-up video on the inverter project that I was working on. So now uh, I was planning to make a pure sine wave inverter and for that I had uh, one of these ES, EGS002 SPWN driver board but uh, didn't had a good luck with these and uh, these MOSFET drivers came sorted so I have removed these IR2113S MOSFET drivers and while reading some articles on the internet I found that most of these modules comes with uh, fake uh, MOSFET drivers those are uh, not original Infineon pro uh, products so uh, I purchased another one from uh, a local website and uh, again it came with the same IR2113S but this time the chip marking seems to be a little different from the previous one so I don't know how it will behave but uh, to test these I made a circuit so here actually uh, this is a feedback transformer which uh, I am powering from my mains socket so this will give a feedback voltage of uh, this is set to 0 06 volt so this will be rectified and then with this potentiometer I will be adjusting the voltage feedback typically it should be around uh, 3 volt for uh, these modules now uh, we have to provide a current feedback also by default if there is no connection on the IFB pin that is uh, this one this will be set to high so that means 5 volt will be coming out we need to set it to less than 0.5 volt in order to turn the chip on so for that I have used a potentiometer that will be used to adjust the voltage at uh, this IFB pin or the current feedback pin and uh, then I have connected a fan to test the temperature feedback and for that I have connected a 10k NTC resistor also and to turn on and off I have connected this switch to this and on the power supply here I am using my bench power supply to uh, provide 12 volt uh, let me show you here so this is connected to my bench power supply which is set to 12 volts and then it will come to the 5 volt converter here I have connected so this will convert 12 volt to 5 volt for the logic voltage and then finally uh, I will be testing the LCD module that is uh, that comes with the EGS002 modules so without further delay let's connect it and let's hope for the best that this module doesn't betray me like the previous one so connecting it the right way and uh, the display module here it is saying 5 volt means it will be connected this way around so I have uh, soldered these pins normally they don't come pre-soldered so I will just go ahead and turn on my power supply well so the LCD module seems to be powered but not showing anything and the LED on the board is turned on which indicates there is output 
but the LCD doesn't show anything right now and uh, these modules seems to be okay for the time being let me turn on the feedback supply here still there is nothing on the LCD I'll just quickly go ahead and turn on and off LCD doesn't show up anything so here I am connecting the old one this one works actually the EGS18010 chip is fine but since the MOSFET drivers are damaged so I need to replace them now let's quickly turn on the power well this one is showing something on the display but can't be read and the LED is blinking three blinks and off that means no feedback so I have turned on the feedback power supply well now the LED is steady which means there is a output but the issue is the LCD can't be read trying to show something but it's not working properly and with the new module it's not showing anything let me swap the modules once again so here I have connected the new one and let's see what it does with the display no display and even there is no feedback the LED seems to be continuously on now let me check the fan whether the fan is working properly or not so I will just short these well doesn't seems to be working I don't know what is happening well after several attempts of turning on and off I finally managed to see that the LED is blinking and if I switch on the feedback power supply I hope this will be a steady output now to test the fan I will just short the NTC module connector here and this will simulate that the NTC is having a very low resistance because of extreme heat. As you can see if I short these two pins the fan is rotating. And uh, if I show you the indicator on the board, if I short these two pins, here you can see it is blinking. It shows that it has gone overheating so now let me try once with the display module connected so if I turn it on there is nothing on the display well if I keep the display module connected 
the PCB doesn't seems to be working properly. So if I just remove these, or uh, I will just disconnect this, and then if I restart, the module works. Now it starts blinking, but once I connect the LCD module, it doesn't work. So, here I have connected again. Let me turn it on. No, there is nothing on the display. and this led continues to glow as if the main ic is getting hanged while it is connected and for using this i have already ordered a pcb so here is the design and uh, hopefully by next week i will be getting the pcb and i will post an updated video on that so stay tuned. Thank you.